that if you have developed a thematic map as part of your uh, results, uh, as part of your contribution of your SLR, this paper is a good example of how thematic maps can be described. So what is it that you can write here? For example, here they say how many papers are included in this thing. If you see here, this is 14 NA, 3 RA. NA stand, stands for news article, RA for research article. So that is one thing you can mention. Then what do they go and talk about? We find we find 80 news articles and 26 research articles in this area, which correspond to two different second order themes. So these two, the theme information collection on food supply chain, that is this one, this one shows how the adoption of blockchain has made a series of changes to information collection. The themes, this and this refer to the improvement of information collection methods. So. What they have done is they have picked up each theme or up and sub theme and then delved uh, deeper into it and explained what were the main observations or findings looking at for that particular uh, for that particular sub theme and it continues again along here and you can see some of the terms that they have used pertains to refers to uh, drew more attention in the publications compared to so as you read more you will find more such patterns that you can start incorporating in your writing uh, again the same same paper very detailed and a thorough thematic map for the benefits 